Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter Semiconductor Electronics. Let's go to the question and try to understand what is given in the question. Output characteristics of a NPN transistor in CE configuration that is collector emitter configuration is shown in the figure. This is the figure. So we have to determine first the dynamic output resistance, second the DC current gain and third the AC current gain at an operating point VCE equals to 10 volt and base current is 30 microampere. So let's solve the first part that is dynamic output resistance. So the dynamic output resistance is denoted by RO. This is nothing but del VCE divided by del IC when IE that is emitter current is constant. So we have to consider our, our operating point as 10 volt and the base current is 30 microampere. So we will be considering this graph. So we have been given the values of IC for 12 and 8 volts respectively. So considering, considering the 12 and 8 volts, here we have this is 12 minus 8 and the corresponding values for IC is 3.6 and 3.4. So this is 3.6 minus 3.4 milliampere so we will be multiplying it with 10 to the power minus 3 so this is nothing but 4 by 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 which comes out to be as 20 kilo ohm so this is the answer for our first part now in the second part it is asked to find the DC current gain that is beta DC Beta DC expression is IC divided by IB and since IB is 30 microampere that is this line and the corresponding IC is 3.5 milliampere so this is 3.5 milliampere by 30 microampere that is 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 30 into 10 to the power minus 6. So this comes out to be as 30, 350 by 3, which is nothing but 116.67. So this is the answer for our second part. In the third part, we have to find the AC current gain. that is beta AC. The representation for beta AC is del IC divided by del IB. So in a figure our IC varies from 4.7 to 3.5 that is here that is a 4.7 to its to 3.5 and our IB varies from 40 to 30 microampere. So now we are considering these both graphs that is 40 microampere and the 30 microampere graph. So we are considering two IB values and corresponding two IC values that is this which is 4.7 and this which is 3.5 for a given voltage that is for a given collector emitter voltage so here delta IC is 4.7 minus 3.5 milliampere and our delta IB is 40 minus 30 microampere so it comes out to be as 1.2 into 10 power minus 3 
upon 10 into 10 power minus 6 which is nothing but 120 so this is the answer for our third part